Greetings everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss Heiken Ashi candles and how they are different. Let's take a look. Okay, you are looking at a Heiken Ashi candle chart. And it does look a little strange with the way these candles are not lined up perfectly with each other and uh, some funny looking wicks on these. So let's go through it. Here's a formula. I took this formula from babypips.com. We'll put the link in the description below so they can have the, the credit and you can go and find this formula for yourself. Now, Heiken Ashi formula is designed to keep you in trades longer and, and it follows a trend. So just a quick turnaround may not be enough to, uh, to use as a trend reversal. So the Heiken Ashi candles will close up a little bit, not necessarily change color or maybe just shrink. One or two may change color, change direction and the trend will continue on. It's because of this formula. It's The specific ones are here. It's going to plot the open, the previous bar. It's going to look at the previous bar uh, and use that as part of the current bar the way it plots. It's very, very interesting. So let's take a look at it along with traditional candles. The area I'd like to focus on is this one right here. Okay, it's Notice there's one gray. We have a bunch of reds and then we have this one gray or one down candle or one up candle, but it's not enough to change our mind to make a directional change so we stay in the trade longer and this is a, a pretty good trade where if we got in and out of this trade we're talking <laughs> there's 197 points. That's pretty good on a two minute chart for the uh, for the NQ futures contract. What does it look like and why are they different from traditional candles? First thing you notice is that the open is always halfway up or halfway between the open and close of the previous candle. This one is halfway between here. This one is halfway between here. This is halfway between here and so on. And that goes for up as well. We have this candle. The open is price is here. This candle, the opening price is halfway between this open and close. So we have to be careful to use uh, uh, these are manufactured candles, they're not the exact pricing. What is the exact pricing are the ends of the wick. So the highs and the lows will be the most accurate pricing and those will be real. Uh, the open and close will not be. And we can see that is evident right here. Let's take a quick look and let's put a horizontal line at this level like this and we can see that this price point here is the same exact as this price point. We can see this one breaking through slightly and this is breaking through slightly. But what is different? Take a look at this candle. We have a few reds and we have a green one in here. We have no up candles on this side. We have the two greens right here as a potential uptrend turn and it continued on. Uh, we have bounces going on here. Here's some consolidation. You may even look at this and think here is a higher low, a higher low, a higher low and consider uh, possibly taking the reversal trade where this had we have these two large red candles coming down and starting to curl up again, you may want to run this up long as a bounce. Uh, that being said, if we're using our Heiken Ashi candles as a reference, we only see one up candle here and the trend continues. That's what we referenced before with that, that very large uh, over 100 point run at that uh, right here. Uh, so that's pretty good. So a pretty uh, common uh, approach to using these candles is sticking with the trend unless you have two uh, in a start of a third uh, change of direction. So this here you may want to stay in. We're looking at two dojis right here and then if we combine that with these candles of the Japanese candles we can see that it was a pop-up and continuation. We can monitor that along with our support and resistance levels and once we combine, once we combine all of this, it can give us an idea. We have some consolidation here. We break down, it breaks down, potentially going up, not going up right here, and continuing on. So it's it's just a confirmation to continue into that trend um, without getting bounced around and bounce out, especially on this NQ. It can it can bounce you pretty good. Uh, here's one here. We have some grays quick red and going off in this direction, um, up, quick down, quick back up again. It's just a cleaner approach to these to these trends. And again, they, they do, it, it does follow the same prices. So if we take and let's put a, let's put a trend line from the top of this one down to this one, down to this one here, 
So we have three points, one, two, and three. And we can see those same points right here, one, two, and three. So that's a quick little introduction of the Heikinashi. It does work good on futures because of the markets. They're thicker. They're a little uh, longer bouncer movement. They're not as choppy as some as stocks may be. The larger stocks, the Amazons, the Microsofts, the Googles, uh, those the Apples, those may work well with the Heikinashi candles also. I haven't taken a, a solid look at them, uh, but maybe you should take a look at it. I'm going to move this formula back over here, leave it up on the screen. We'll put the link in the description below. Let us know what you think. See you in the next video.